Nitrogen management is a vital component of today's higher yielding corn and is more important than ever to meet the growing demand for food, feed, and fuel. Growers are striving to produce even higher yields by means of planting earlier, increasing planting populations, and investing in improved genetics and advancements in biotechnology. As growers strive for higher yield potential, maintaining the nitrogen in the root zone throughout the season is imperative to maximize corn yields. In serve and in stink, two nitrogen stabilizers available from Diagra Sciences help ensure nitrogen is available to the corn plant when it's needed most during the growing season. Instinct and Inserve are the only two EPA registered nitrogen stabilizers available today. Instinct nitrogen stabilizer can be applied with many types of commercial fertilizers such as UAN, manure, and urea. In this video we will be examining how to apply Instinct to fields where the growers use urea as a primary source of nitrogen. This video will walk through the step-by-step -step process of impregnating Instinct on urea provide helpful hints to ensure the process goes smoothly, as well as demonstrate the value of this management tool. We hope you find this video educational, and be sure to ask your retailer or Diagra Sciences sales rep if you have further questions on how to impregnate Instinct on urea. There's a three-step process to impregnate Instinct on dry fertilizer. First, add the desired amount of urea to the blender. If other dry fertilizers such as DAP, MAP, AMS or potash are to be applied in the field at the same time, add all the individual dry fertilizers to the blender first before adding the instinct. The reason for this is instinct treats the soil, not the nitrogen itself, and can be impregnated on the entire fertilizer blend. The most important aspect of nitrogen stabilization is to be able to apply the instinct into the same soil profile as the primary nitrogen source. If multiple nitrogen applications are made during the same growing season, Diagra Sciences recommends applying Instinct with your primary nitrogen application. A common concern that applicators have when adding a liquid to urea is a sticky buildup on the outside of the fertilizer. This can be alleviated with management during the impregnation process by using a drying agent. The drying agent can be added to the fertilizer blend during or after filling, but prior to adding Instinct. These drying agents will absorb excess moisture so that the fertilizer flows easily and cleanly through your airflows or spinner spreaders. There are several different options for drying agents. Applicators have had great success with diatomaceous earth, such as MP79. Clay-based drying agents have also proven effective. Pell Lime can also act as a drying agent when using volumes of more than 50 pounds per acre. The brand name is not important, as most distributors carry a drying agent that will work. These drying agents are available in various sizes to fit the given operation. There are three ways of adding the drying agent to the dry fertilizer. It can be manually dumped directly into the blender, stored in a micro bin, or added to the fertilizer blend as it's going to the riser. Storing the drying agent in a micro bin will save both time and be most convenient and efficient if storage allows. The standard rate of drying agent is one pound of drying agent per pint of instinct. When you are applying the 35 ounce rate of instinct per acre, two and a half pounds of drying agent per acre would be a good starting point. If other liquid products such as Sure Start are also to be impregnated, add an additional pound of drying agent per pint of herbicide impregnated. The exact rate of drying agent needed to be effective can vary depending on a variety of factors, including the quality or amount of fines present in the fertilizer, the amount of ambient moisture present in the fertilizer, the relative humidity at the time of impregnation, and the amount of fertilizer being applied per acre. For example, fertilizer with more fines and irregular prill sizes tends to need more drying agent than a fertilizer with more consistent and uniform size. The amount of drying agent needed from load to load and from fertilizer source to fertilizer source will vary somewhat. Because of this variation, we recommend starting at one pound of drying agent per pint of instinct. With time and experience, the rate of drying agent can be adjusted as needed to fit the individual's needs. After the drying agent has been added to the blender, the next step is adding the instinct to the fertilizer batch. 
There are two primary ways of delivering instinct up into the blender to be impregnated on urea. One method is using an air pressure system to deliver the instinct into the blender. The other method is to use a liquid pump to deliver the product through a hose to the nozzle or ring at the top of the blender. Shown here is an example of the air pressure system. When using this delivery method, the first step in the process is to open the top cap and pump or pour in the measured amount of instinct for the fertilizer batch. Remember, the rate is 35 to 70 ounces per acre. Close and tighten the top cap to seal the vessel and open the air valve to allow 25 to 40 PSI to build within the pressure vessel. Next, open the exit valve attached to the hose and instinct will then begin to be delivered up into the blender. Allow the fertilizer batch to mix for three to five minutes. In this location, there are two pressure vessels or fill containers. The following system allows a retailer to impregnate two products on the dry fertilizer at the same time. Often users will impregnate Instinct and a herbicide like SureStart on the same fertilizer batch, yet Instinct should be added to the blend first, followed by the herbicide. If the air pressure system will be sitting idle for more than 24 hours, it is recommended to run one to two quarts of warm water through the delivery system, or if you will be continuing to impregnate other fertilizer batches, a herbicide can also be used to flush any remaining Instinct from the delivery system. If you find that you would like the fertilizer batch to be drier after mixing for three to five minutes with the standard rate of drying agent, there are several solutions. Two easy methods are to simply add more drying agent or mix for a longer period of time to allow for a more uniform distribution and absorption. A third option to achieve a drier blend is to fill the blender one half to two thirds of capacity to ultimately mix for less time and do more batches per hour. For example, retailers have found that if you mix two six-ton batches in a 12-ton blender, but mix for half the recommended time, the product will usually come out drier than if you had mixed the full 12-ton load for the standard amount of time. In summary, to impregnate Instinct on urea, first add the dry fertilizer to the blender, then the drying agent at the rate of one pound of drying agent per pint of Instinct, and then deliver the instinct at the rate of 35 to 70 fluid ounces per acre, followed by a liquid herbicide if it is being used, and mix for three to five minutes. Now that we have walked through the impregnation process, here are a few final tips to keep in mind when impregnating instinct on urea. Because instinct is water-based, water should be used, if needed, to clean up application equipment. When impregnating a wet product on a dry fertilizer, the bulk density of the fertilizer blend will drop, usually by four to five pounds per cubic foot. The bulk density can drop as much as eight pounds per cubic foot when the weather is humid. Remember to recalibrate your equipment accordingly. Lastly, it is important to stay within the labeled rates of instinct when applying dry fertilizer. If the dry fertilizer will be applied at a variable rate, there are other options available besides impregnation which ensure that the instinct still gets applied within the labeled rate range. The most common method to apply urea at a variable rate while maintaining a constant rate of instinct is to use a dry airflow machine that has a wet boom attached, as seen on the screen here. Now that we've talked about how to impregnate instinct on urea and given you a few tips to ensure the process goes smoothly in your operation, let's look at grower field trial observations and results from 2011 with instinct impregnated urea. Shown here is a mid-season picture of ear size differences where instinct was impregnated on urea. The ears on the right side of the screen are from the area of the field that had instinct impregnated urea. The ears on the left were from the part of the field that had straight urea. As you can see, the ears from the instinct treated area of the field are further along in their development. The following are representative stalks from the same field. The stalk on the right had instinct impregnated urea, where the stalk on the left had urea only. The increase in stalk girth helps provide better stalk strength, which leads to greater standability throughout harvest. Increased nitrogen retention in the root zone allows for greater opportunity to maximize vegetative growth throughout the season. The following plants are from another field in where instinct impregnated urea was used. 
The corn on the right received instinct impregnated urea and is noticeably taller than the corn on the left, which received urea only. The increased plant height is an indication of having more nitrogen in the root zone longer throughout the growing season to allow the plant to reach its maximum yield potential. Satellite, or aerial photography, is one nitrogen management tool that growers utilize for future nitrogen recommendations. The following vegetative index image was taken just prior to tasseling. On the right, instinct impregnated urea was applied, and on the left, urea only. The darker green color where instinct was used is an indication that instinct maintained more nitrogen in the root zone longer to allow more vegetative growth and maximize yield potential. Stalk nitrate tests are done at the end of the growing season as a tool for future fertilizer recommendations. The following is a composite look at the stalk nitrate test taken at the R6 growth stage. What can be observed is significant increases in the amount of nitrogen in the stalks after black layer in the instinct impregnated urea areas. The more nitrogen present in the stalk at the end of the season usually will result in better stalk quality and standability with less cannibalization. Greater stalk quality will lead to faster dry down at harvest. All of these factors combined lead to a corn plant that is better able to reach its maximum yield potential. Here are the results from instinct impregnated urea trials from growers around the Midwest in the 2011 growing season. Growers have seen a 5.4 bushel advantage when instinct was impregnated with urea in these trials. Impregnating instinct on urea is one of the many methods used to apply your nitrogen stabilizer along with your nitrogen source. It is efficient, convenient, and requires very little additional equipment to get started. Not only is impregnating instinct on your dry fertilizer profitable, it may also save time by allowing you to minimize multiple trips through the field. Instinct impregnated urea is a management tool that can be utilized in both the spring and the fall applications to bring flexibility to your operation and maximize your nitrogen program.